It started with a phone call. A local school that we've done work for in the past had a drain back up in their kitchen. It was a plumber's nightmare. As we scoped the lines, we found where the damage spots were. PVC pipe had been installed throughout the building below slab. Their dishwasher at RINS cycle it requires 180 degree Fahrenheit water. The PVC over a period of 10, 11 years could not handle those kind of elevated temperatures. At that point, then we put together a drawing and the bids came in. My estimate again was 33, 34,000. Low bid was $58,000, which about gave the owner a heart attack. So at that point, the fun began. The kitchen was built slab on grade. We just can't walk in and get to it. We scanned the floor. The entire area had to be quarantined. So the slab was removed. As we cut this slab, we ran through somewhere near 28 to 34 conduits. Not only did the conduit had to be repaired and replaced where we cut both ends. All the conductors had to be pulled from whatever device it served back to the panel. They don't allow you to just put a splice and bury it in a conduit somewhere. As the excavation continued, in 35 years I've never come across a pipe that was damaged by elevated temperatures as the one that was in this project. That first elbow was deteriorated beyond use. Those lines were removed and the new installation of cast iron pipe proceeded. The owner had requested that all the joints in the cast iron pipe be encased in concrete. Then the trenches were backfilled. Pins had to be drilled into the side of the existing slab and then the new slab would be poured, thus making both slabs as one, which again escalated the cost that wasn't accounted for in my estimate. As the project came to a completion, the icing on the cake was the ceramic tile that we had to replace. What I would describe as a sawtooth pattern in the ceramic tiles had to be painstakingly taken off the floor at the grout joints without damaging the adjacent tiles. But as we all know, the old doesn't match the new. As I reflect back on this, this project, as I was asked to do, I couldn't help but ask myself, why would you do this? Why would you specify PVC in this application, why would you even install PVC on the dishwasher waistline? All these whys add up to dollars, dollars that most times the owner and others involved in a project think they're saving up front, which only comes back to cost more later when it needs to be replaced. Please, the next time somebody tells you to install PVC pipe on a commercial dishwasher waste drain, question what you're doing. Question who told you to do it. Because eventually, someone's going to get the bill. Ultimately, it was the taxpayers of the school district who, who uh, foot this bill. And most of all, when they served that first school lunch, the water would go down the drain and was not going to damage this pipe like it had the original.